What's up, YouTube? So we're out here. And I didn't catch any fish on the main stretch. So, going back into the creek again because the water seemed to be a little warmer. The fish seemed to be a little bit more active. And uh, hopefully, some fish back up in there fighting. But uh, yeah, I didn't get anything. I fished a jig bait. Pretty much got all my rods except for the ones I messed up last time I came out. And I don't know what's up with the fish finder. I only use it for a temp and depth because it goes off. I, I swear, if, it was, if the fish on this fish finder was real, I'd be in bad shape. Oh, he wasn't getting off. First fish. Looks like we might be on to something. On to something better. So last time I caught all my fish on the right side of this place. Uh, that one came somewhat in the middle. To the... Sorry, right side coming back this way. So if you're looking at it from this angle, it's to the left. That one I caught on the right side. Sixty degree water temp, man, you can't beat that. Yeah. I am liking it. I catch some hogs today. My the my the hogs. Sixty one right now. Wait, come on man. Hopefully it's a few giants, so you can tell me that they're small. Oh, if you hear that, I think that's my uh live oil pump. They, they might be going. With this water temp, there's no reason why I shouldn't catch 20 plus bass back here. Unless, you know, I'm doing something completely wrong. Which I'm probably not, hopefully.
got the date. Keep weeding through the small ones, man. Eventually, you'll catch a big one. Just let the spinner bait do all the work for you. I normally fish one side or the other, but today, I'm fishing bow. Sixty degrees, man. I'm excited. Some good water too. I'm saying all this as I'm not catching fish, but you just wait on it. Big bite coming soon. Oh, I thought I had a bite. Stopped it in his tracks. It's so beautiful back here, it's crazy. Oh man, ah. Oh. Dang. I don't know if you saw that, but I just got smoked. Smoked it. See if we can catch him. I think he was, uh, he may be protecting a bed or something back here. The way he hit it. I thought he had it in his mouth and he didn't. Let's see if I can hold us here for a second. Maybe if I would have had a trailer, trailer on there, he would have bit a little, committed a little better. He hit it like a big one, man. I want him. Ah, what the hell? Got him. Oh my God. Did you see that? That is crazy. I knew it would get him eventually. Man, I hope I got that on camera. That's crazy. He came up and smoked it. Man, what a beautiful fish. When I was pitching in there, I felt him thump it a few times, but he didn't fully commit to it. So I just kept putting it in his face, man. Never forget that. Just... When you get a thump, you could probably get another one. As long as you ain't get the hooks in them. I just keep throwing. Another one. Hooked him pretty good. I don't know what's holding them here, but I like it. Been getting a lot of bites. They haven't been giants, man. So I'm thinking when I come back up this way, I'm going to switch to the jig and see if I can get a bigger bite because my spinnerbait is pretty big. I'm not too worried about it catching 
You know what I mean? You should be catching a bigger fish, but it's it's getting re oh, got another hit. It's getting a little reaction bite, so kinda happy with it. But everybody knows you always want something bigger. Whoa. That bad boy fluttered down there. Oh, about to hit some bushes. I don't have too many videos out there of me working fish like that, so it's nice to kind of catch it on catch it on camera because I've got some I got some pretty crazy stories. Uh working working fish. I remember when I first started uh trout fishing everybody told me if you could see the fish you can't catch it and i was like that doesn't make sense you know what i mean fish don't just show themselves because they're done eating you know what i mean so what i did was i went found a big fish it was a um, three pound trout nice size rainbow trout and i could see him so while everybody was fishing for the the trout that were moving, I decided that I was gonna try to catch this one that's sitting directly behind me, not moving. He's not re really active or anything like that. And uh, I worked him, and he finally committed to it. I was like, "Wow, I got him!" Boom, set the hook. I had the lightest line on my reel that I could possibly get away with because of what everybody else told me to. You know, they said lighter line catches bigger fish. I mean. That may be true, and that may be, oh, that may be, you know, better for everybody else, but for me, I needed some heavier line because that fish took me down the river so fast that I couldn't control him, and I was like, wow. I need something heavier. So I lost him that day. But this fish had one key characteristic, and that was it had a gold fly in his mouth. And I know this story sounds so fake because of the gold fly, like whatever, you know what I mean? But it's real. It had a gold fly in his mouth. And for some reason, he went back to the same spot that very next day. And after experiencing a fish take me down and I couldn't control it at all, I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna get some six pound line instead of running, I think I had like three or four on there. So, changed my line up. I was ready, I was ready for a big fish that day. And the, the how I found him, he, he was sitting under a log and I went to the same spot because that was next to our campsite. And I went to that log and I kicked it by mistake. And he came out and the first thing I saw was that gold fly. I was like, wow, that's the same fish. He bit yesterday, maybe he'll bite again today. He's obviously eating, even though he's out. So I worked that fish for 30 minutes and I had the GoPro footage. He bit again, I hooked him. I was so happy that was the biggest trout I've ever caught in my life. I've only been trout fishing maybe two or three times. So it's not like I just, you know, exclusively go trout fishing or like that. I'm bass fishing for the most part, but that was crazy sit there and work a fish for two days like who does that <laughs> mm. i think we got some trash on the spinner oh nope, it's clean Yeah, we're gonna have to come back and hit this with a jig. <sighs> Cause they are not biting the spinner bait no more. Sixty-one degrees back here. Should get some more action. I just gotta tie the right bait on, I guess. I got a crankbait tied onto a rod right now. I might need to pull that out because this water's slick. 
but it's muddy you know what i mean slick and muddy so that's why i'm throwing a spinner bait right now because it's slick and muddy i don't know if there's any fish sitting back up in this see how the water transitioned over a little bend there it's like a it goes under you know what i mean i wonder if it's sitting up on that thing might be well i never know if i don't catch them It's hard to put the spinner bait down, man. I tell you, it's fun to throw. It's not what you want to throw. It's what the fish want to bite. <laughs> when you understand that, catch a lot more fish. I promise you. Wiped at it. Okay. Come on, man. Stop slapping at me. Why are you slapping at me? You're going to hurt yourself. hooked in the worst way. I got a bigger jig, man. He's fishing.